What's up guys? It's Sam here and I have some super exciting news uh, that I wanted to share with you. I wanted to share my earnings for the month of March outside of my job. Okay, just the stuff that I'm doing when I'm not at work. Okay, <clears throat> but before I do that, I want to give you a little bit of context into um, how I got into this. Okay, so back in the, by the way, make sure you press that subscribe button or over there, wherever it is. And there's a little bell notification. Just gently tap that bell notification. Just make that bell jingle. It's just like Christmas time and jingle bells. Um, that way YouTube will notify you every time I post a new video. You can follow along with the journey of me getting to a hundred bucks a day online. So exciting news. Um, I'm going to go over all of the details. I'm just going to tell you what it was and then I'll get into the total. Uh, for the month of March, I made $1,453.79. Uh, 97 cents. So that's fourteen hundred fifty-three and ninety-seven. That's fucking amazing. This is five months in. Fucking amazing. Okay, so I wanted to give you some context. I don't want to drag it out like everybody else does. Okay, so back at the end of November, um, I had been dabbling around with YouTube for about five years, um, making a little bit of content and then not making content for months and then making a little bit of content and then not making content for months and then gone on and on and on for five months. I started in early 2013 on YouTube. It's in April. It's April of 2019. Six years later, right? So five years and change at the end of October. And I had just moved from Florida up to Massachusetts to work. And... I was like, how do I want to live? Like, what's the most ideal? What would be like the, the mo if I could do fucking anything, anything, live anywhere I wanted to live and do anything I wanted to do every single day, what would that consist of? And, and I was thinking about it and then I was like, well, I think I went through a couple iterations in my mind of. Maybe I would do this, maybe I would do that. And I settled upon traveling with maybe two, three, or four home bases around the world. And what that might look like in my mind at this stage, before I've actually gone into it, is a property, uh, 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 an apartment or something in, you know, two, three, four spots around the world that I spend, you know, a number of weeks or months in um, throughout the year and maybe a few months at one spot then a few months at the next and a few months at the next and a few months at the next and and so maybe you might like Massachusetts but you don't like it in the winter so you leave during the winter and maybe you actually don't want to spend six seven months here maybe you would like to spend two months here so you'd like to spend five months in in you know, Southern Italy, or, or maybe three months in Southern Italy, and then you want to spend three months in, um, say, Singapore, or you want to spend three months in Malaysia, or maybe Thailand, right? And, and that's the thing that was going on. And that, creating that vision, is what sparked me to go to the next step, was how much fucking money do I need to do this? So I went through the next day, because this all took place when I was in bed, high as fuck. Um, and I wrote down every single thing that I was paying for. And I, I don't live, like, extravagantly. Like, you can see, my fucking place is empty as fuck. Like, I don't buy shit. <laughs> I don't even have plates, dude. Um, just cause I don't see a point. Like, Tupperware works fine. Uh, and I, I just don't see a point in my plates. I, I just don't. Uh, my cups are protein shakers because, again, why buy a cup? Protein shakers is the same thing as a cup. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, so, I wrote down everything that I'd spend money on, right? Like the living situation, whether like rent of some sort, right? Food um, and everything else along there, travel, insurance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, and that came out to be a little less than $2,000. So... I rounded up to uh, $3,000 and um, divided by 30 and called it 100 bucks a day. 
And that's seven days a week, right? So um, that was my objective, is get to 100 bucks a day online. And I gave myself until the end of March 2020. Why March, you might ask? Arbitrary? Maybe. Or maybe that's, uh, that's when my bonus gets paid out at work. So I might as well get my bonus, right? Um, so maybe, maybe not. So <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why. Um, so that was at the very end of October. And from then, at the beginning of November, up through today's uh, actually April 1st, um, I continually put out on average like three plus videos per day online. And, and for the first month, uh, in November, I didn't make anything online. And I was putting in work every day, seven days a week. And then in January, or I'm sorry, in December, um, being a holiday, um, or being the holiday season, uh, I had Amazon affiliate links in the description. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, and so how that works is if you click on one of the links in the description, if you have something to purchase on Amazon and you use my link, I get a small portion of that. It doesn't cost you anything. It just tells Amazon that you clicked on my link. Um, it doesn't matter what you purchase. So if you if you do have something on purchase and you want to support the channel, check out my links in the description. If not, it's cool. Do you? Um... And uh, I made a 77 cents per day in the month of December for a total of 23 bucks and 80 cents. And that was strictly from Amazon. I couldn't make money from YouTube yet because you had to hit certain thresholds. For YouTube, you have to hit 4,000 hours of watch time over the previous 12 months and have 1,000 subscribers. So I knew it would come with time but I was just putting in the work and putting in the work and putting in the work and I wasn't getting anything from a monetary standpoint, although it is tremendously fun to uh, make these videos and to have that interaction. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I will get back to you. Also, uh, if you want to reach out on Instagram, um, link is in the description. I definitely fucking enjoy getting messages and interacting with everybody. So. Um, I didn't, wasn't making any money from YouTube in December. In January, I made $13 and 80 cents. So 45 cents per day on average went down, right? But it's not a shopping season. So that was expected. Um, in the month of February, I made $8. So it went down again. That's not fun. Three months in a row of like watching it go down. And remember it was only 23 bucks, but you want to see progress, right? That at the end of February it had been four months. 120 days and you just like 120 days and you made like 40 bucks 45 dollars you know what i mean it's not like super um like you want to see it growing you know what i mean you don't want to see it that it's like continually going down and not seeing any progress and then the month of march came so in February, I made 29 cents per day. So I went from 77 cents per day, from zero in November to 77 cents, 45 cents, 29 cents. These are all averages per day. So zero in November, 77 cents per day on average in, in December, 45 cents per day on average in January, 29 cents per average, uh, per day on average in the month of February. Excuse me, now February or March. March comes along, and and I'll also show you uh, as many of these as I can. Um, in the month of March, I find where I already told you I made fourteen hundred and fifty three dollars and ninety seven cents, which comes out to be forty six dollars and ninety cents per day. I'm forty six point nine percent of the way towards a hundred bucks a day absolutely absolutely fucking amazing like it went from virtually nothing per day on average like 29 cents in the month of february to 46 dollars and 90 cents per day so i'm super curious to see how the month of april plays out uh, i'm gonna get into all those numbers and now for the month of uh march there is one two three four five um well six different categories that i was earning money from 
and uh, I wanted to talk about those. So I am going to uh, start at the smallest and then just work my way up. Um, so there is a, um, a link for Robinhood. Robinhood is a brokerage platform that I use for my trading. By the way, if you want to check out any of those videos and options trading, check out the channel. First of all, subscribe, then check out the channel and tell you exactly what trades I'm doing and how I'm doing, if I'm making money or if I'm losing money. Um, but there's a link there, right? If you click on the link and you sign up for brokerage platform or sign up on the brokerage platform, you get a free share of stock. It's probably like five bucks worth, a uh, $5 stock. And I get five, I get a share of stock as well. So somebody did that and I got a free share of Sirius XM satellite. So I pulled up my account here to show you. And we've got Chris here. Chris H on March 3rd, I've got $6.05 for that share. So, but when I sold it for cash, I sold it for $6. So I only have $6 down as the referral on that one. Um, then the next thing was, and, and that, the video I actually made for that was back in, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in December. So I made the video in December and I got the referral in uh, March. Like it was just sitting there, right? And I didn't have a ton of views and, and then somebody watched it and they're like, hey, I, I, I watch, watched the video and I uh, signed up. It's like fucking awesome. Um, I hope they love it. And the reason I, I don't like, the reason I, I like actually personally use Robinhood. Um, I've been using it for probably about a year now. It's free. Like I've used a lot of different brokerage platforms like E-Trade and Charles Schwab and Fidelity and Principal um, and probably one or two other platforms. And um, it's free. Like that's amazing. It's absolutely free to trade. It doesn't actually cost dick to trade, right? Like it's just electronics. Elect it's an electrical signal that's sent saying, hey, do this, right? It doesn't cost $5 or $10 or whatever the cost is for a trade on some of these other platforms. It's zero. Um, okay, so then uh, the next biggest one was Amazon. I made $10.55 from Amazon. So I just wanted to pull that up. And that was uh, for one, two, that was, uh, there was 10 things that were ordered um, in the month of uh, March. There was 320, 319 clicks from YouTube to Amazon, but that could also be from Facebook because I started putting some of these videos on Facebook too um, because Facebook also has like a YouTube monetization type program where they have their own requirements where you need like 10,000 uh, likes on your page and you need you know 60,000 minutes watched in the last 30 days or vice versa, 30,000 minutes in the last 60 days. So this is the results of that. Um, here is the date, March 1st through the 31st, five, uh, 10 bucks and 55 cents. So remember, like this is coming from in, in October, like making dick online, like nothing. I didn't have shit going on online. And then now to this, right? So, uh, Amazon was the next one. So that was an increase over the month of February, which is awesome. Now, uh, the next biggest one was YouTube. So this number is actually off because the data is lagged by one day. So it's actually going to be a little bit higher than this. Um, YouTube earnings for the month of March, remember? And I, so I actually got approved. I, I reached the threshold to get approved in like the last week of February, meaning I reached 4,000 hours of watch time over the previous 12 months at the end of February, towards the end of February, and I had already reached the 1,000 subscribers, so thank you so much if you are subscribed. Um, but then you have to go through a process to be able to actually monetize your video, so, um, and that's automatic, but it took um, probably about two and a half weeks for that to happen, and um, once it got approved, that was on... Uh, that was on um, March 10th, and that was March 10th uh, in the afternoon, late afternoon. I think I got the email that said it was approved. So on March 10th, I made one penny. Um, probably only one thing showed. So um, the total amount that I've made from that in the month of March is $14 and, excuse me, and two cents. Um, but, excuse me, I'm going to show you the data right here, and you get to see... So March 3rd through the 30th, 30th, right? 
and um, that's fourteen dollars and two cents. So the data from this is the the thirtieth. The thirty first actually isn't loaded yet. Generally speaking, it doesn't load until like late in the day, but I wanted to make this video. So potentially it might be 50 cents more, 75 cents more, uh, which will make that closer to $15 for uh, YouTube. So from $0 in the month of February to $14, $14.50, $15, $15 for the month or for that. So that'll be cool. Now, the next three categories are the big ones. Um, I had two companies reach out to me and send me free product. Uh, the uh, first one, uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so the first one was the this microphone right over here, which I still have to figure out how to use, uh, Fi-Fi. Uh, so they're, um, uh, this plugs into the phone, but this is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and um, I've got a USB-C on the camera here which is my phone one of my phones so I actually haven't tested it out yet but if you live in the area and want to fucking help me out with it leave a comment down below appreciate the help um, also that was uh, $36.99 uh, then I got uh, three free products which were uh, $45, $49, and $49. And that was uh, SARMs for, they're not for human consumption, just in case you're wondering, but they're research compounds. They were compounds that I use anyway that I already purchased from a different company. So to be able to get them for free is amazing. Um, and uh, the total of those is $182, roughly, you know. Uh, so it's thirty six ninety nine plus forty four ninety nine plus forty nine ninety nine plus forty nine ninety nine. It didn't include shipping, but they sent that shipping over here too. So I was going to use those anyway. Uh, so that's one hundred eighty two dollars. And then um, I I had uh, somebody I would met somebody who was selling a car. The, well, the the dealer they were telling me that they were going to uh, buy a new car, and the dealer was going to give them five hundred bucks for their car. Which their car was like a daily driver. Like that's the car they used every single day for the past like year or two years or whatever. Um, and um, I'd seen it before, but the dealer was gonna give him 500 bucks. So I was like, well, if the dealer's gonna give you 500 bucks, I'll take it for 500 bucks. Knowing how dealerships, having a perception and understanding of like how dealerships work, right? They're gonna offer way below what it's actually worth and then just turn around and resell it. I was like, and I've sold, I think, two cars to a junkyard before for like 500 and 600 bucks each. So I knew that I could probably just bring it to a junkyard and sell it for 500 bucks uh, because it still, drive, it still drives. There wasn't really anything wrong with it other than it needed brakes. So um, I took, I bought the car for 500 bucks, put it on uh, Facebook mar Marketplace, and I sold that for $1,000. So I actually didn't even sign the title over to my name yet and register it. It was still underneath um, the other person's name. And um, and I made $500 profit on that. So that was pretty fucking cool. And then uh, the last item here was uh, options trading. So, uh, and I have the cash for the $1,000 that I got in the other room, but $500 of that I obviously used to purchase the car, so the profit is 500 now, the last one here is the options trading. If um, you want to go look at any of the videos on my channel, there's a, a few of them that I put out about the options trading so far and how it's working out. But I'm going to just show you right here, but I actually show the account in the other videos. Um, I didn't actually pull it up here because um, I made plenty of videos on that. But right here is the account. So I started on the March 10th with $1,444. I added $800. I added $1,000. I added $1,000. I finished the month with $4,986.29. So if you come over here, that's a... Um, so in order to calculate the return here, let me just show you. You have to subtract out. So it's this, right? D9 minus this, minus this, minus this. All right, so D4, which is this one here, 4D, 
the next one, D6 is this one here, D8 is this one here, right, D8, and then divided by the beginning value, which is 144.85, minus 1. And that gives you the percentage, right? So a 51% increase relative to that number for the month, which comes out to be $741 in profit is what I made for that month. And remember, because I'm using Robinhood, there's no trading costs. I don't have, you know, $5 per trade in and out. Like, I, I don't have any costs associated with this. So this is absolutely amazing. Like obviously I'll have to pay taxes on that, but um, that's truly amazing. And that's why I put that link in the description because I use that, like I trade with that. I made $700 last month, that's fucking amazing. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. Completely and utterly blessed. Uh, almost halfway to getting to 100 bucks a day online. Um, if you guys uh, have any questions about any of this stuff or any thoughts, let me know down below in the comments. This is going into month number six, right? So we've got November, December, January, February, March. We're going into April right now. Uh, I would love, I would love to be able to uh, double that. <laughs> I'd love to be able to quadruple that this month, but we'll see. Um, even even just getting a couple hundred dollars for the month would be absolutely amazing. But we'll see how um, how this plays out. And um, I will keep you guys posted, whether that's a weekly or bi-weekly or monthly uh, progress in terms of getting to 100 bucks a day online. And uh, if you really do want to follow along, I will continue putting content out as I find these apartments around the world that I want to live in or property that I'm going to be investing in around the world so that I do create this lifestyle that I want to live where I can spend, you know, two months in Australia and then three months in Italy and then three months in, in, in Asia and then a month or so in the U S and then, you know what I mean? Like live where you want to live, doing what you want to do every single day. Uh, so if you want to follow along with that, make sure you press that subscribe button. If you support this or if any of this was helpful to you in any way, share, uh, press that thumbs up, but also share with some, 